All right, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Oso Berry, also previously known as Indian Plum, Latin name Oomleria cerasiformis. So as you can see, it is a shrub or small tree. I'm standing right under it here. It grows in low elevation, moist forest. So we have a deciduous overstory. This is a very common understory shrub in this area. So how do you identify this one? Here is a sample of some leaves. So you can see there is a very smooth edge to the leaves. They have a protruding mid vein. If you can see that right at the end, that little point right there. Uh, the leafing pattern is alternate. So the leaves alternate down the branch and they're all a little bit wider past the midpoint. So they're smooth, they start narrow and they widen out and then they taper a little bit at the end. You can also see much darker on the top, lighter on the bottom. Now this plant is one of the first to leaf out in the spring. But even before it leaves out or just as the leaves are coming out, you're gonna see these little white, almost greenish flowers. And they kind of look like a little shooting star coming up out of the plant. Uh, those will turn into little berry-like droops later in the season. So you can see there's sort of two peachy ones there and then a dark purple one. The dark purple one is ripe. So these will be all throughout the plant. They're not just at one spot, they're all the way around. Uh, a couple other interesting things about this plant if you get a branch and you break it open, you can see right in the middle there, it's got what's called a chambered pith. The pith there is the innermost part of the branch. You can see it's kind of like a ladder, all broken up into little chambers. That's a distinctive feature of the Oso berry. And one other fun thing that you can try out, I recommend it, to confirm your ID, you can take a leaf, you can crush it, and it should smell like cucumbers if you've got your ID right. And that is Omleria cerasiformis.